disappointing today, man. Really disappointing. Looking to try and turn a corner. Come here and lost today. It feels like we're back to square one again, doesn't it? Yeah, I, was, I thought uh, first half we did, uh, didn't create enough chances. We started well in the, about the first 15, 20 minutes. I thought we started bright. But then we just died down, let, them, let Bournemouth get into the game a little mm. bit, and they, they punished us for half time with the goal. Second half, I think second half is lacklustered again. There's, there's no credit really in number 10 role. Andreas giving away a ball too easy at He times. took a lot of stick today, didn't he, uh, Andreas? So he got into good positions. He was in really good positions in between the lines and slowly faded, and the quality just wasn't really on the ball from him today, was it? No, well, I don't think he ever creates enough. I, he worked hard for the team, does all, that, all the pressing, but I, just don't, I think it's, it's his decision making in the final mm. moments is just letting us down. I think missing Pogba out there mm. for injury or whatever is really... Do you think that's where he comes back into this team, in that, in that little pocket where think, Pereira is now? I think Pogba comes in the number 10 position for us now. We've got Fred and McTominay playing well. Mm. I don't think they had their best game today, mm. but I think if those two are on form, I think Pogba comes back in that number mm. 10 role. Why do you, tactically, you know, that was the team we wanted to see in terms of the three up front, Marshall, Rashford, James, and like you said, it started so brightly. But we keep conceding sloppy goals, sloppy goals. Yes, we might not concede tons of goals, but they seem to be quite sloppy. No, I, just, I, just, I think it's us being defensively aware of what's happening around them. I think they just switch off for a split second and go back to the Liverpool game. Mm. Then that final moment where the Lana got that goal, it's, Same thing, it's yeah. just switching off, switching off all the, all the time. Mm. But I think with substitutions, only made him too late again. Mm. Link up. Coming on a bit too late. Mason and uh, Brandon coming on mm. ten minutes. Saw and Brandon come on as well. He's looking to try and make things happen, wouldn't he? No, I think he's the I think he's the best left back we've got at the club at the minute. Mm. I think he, if Shaw's back, I think Brandon still takes his place. Mm. And I don't think I don't think Young Chief will be anywhere near the starting eleven at the minute. Mm. So. Where do you think it leaves us now in terms of we were looking to try and turn a corner, like I said, three away wins on a row, but it was only one in the league. Where do you think that puts us now? Well, I think it sucks the confidence out of them and we're back to square one again or could you see positive signs? I think we're back to where we were just before the international yeah, like break. Said. I, don't, I, I, can't, I don't see us changing anything at the minute. I think we have to trust Oli for now. But let's see how we go, we go. We'll see how we go after that. I don't, I don't think top four's happening this season. No. Anyway, no, I, I think we'll be lucky to finish top ten at this point. Yeah. Nice Cheers, man. Thanks for talking to us, buddy. Big thank you to you guys for watching the latest of our videos. And if you want to check out more, make sure you do that just to the right of me. We are the biggest and best Manchester United channel in the world. Make sure you check us out on all of the socials as well. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and YouTube. The socials are along the bottom. Peace.